Reese writes, any ideas why my tank, three month old and 14 gallon with moderate coral load and two small clowns is chewing through alk and calcium? I primarily have Zoas, a few LPS, two SPS frags, nothing fancy, and it's all new. 20% weekly water changes, alk with Hanna checker between 8 and 8.5, uh, but it consistently drops to 6 to 6.5 before the next water change, six to seven days later. Using Tropic Marin uh, symbiotic salt, maybe that's normal and I just need to start dosing, which is fine, but it seems odd to me. What are your thoughts? Teacher, teacher, teacher. You're, you're, if I read it, you're next, baby. Okay. You so answer I, it first. I, I read this question before the show, and it's funny because it's so pertinent to me because I'm always answering people's questions like in real life or whatever. And I, for whatever reason, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nobody else is answering people's questions in real life. Not at all. Just, just, just you. No, how many, I'm just saying. How many years have you been doing that? 863. God, I love giving you shit for this. I know. Just because it so doesn't matter and it's so great. At all. Because you know what? Because I could have been just, I love when people, I've been doing this for 20 years. Oh, cool. You've been doing the wrong shit for 20 years. Sit down and shut the fuck Look up. Look in the mirror, Johnson. I don't, that's why I don't keep mirrors in my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I've had a, a, a slew of people with tiny tanks saying, why are my parameters not this? What it do? And <laughs> <laughs> not like I'm making fun of anyone, but I'm just saying what it do, what it do. If you got a tiny tank, shit be wild. Period. Oh, so just deal with it. It's just a way to explain because I had a guy ask me, why is my pH crazy? Another guy has no alkalinity and this one person. Why are these parameters? So, How many gallons of chlorine you have? Seven gallon, 10 gallon, five gallon. Answer Denise's tank question. What, what's, to, in the two sentence answer you have a tiny body of water and, and i would say so i think she said she had a 12 gallon aquarium so you know having an sps in there which is something that would give a pretty heavy draw to uh, you know carbonates and and calcium and you've got it in this tiny body of water sounds crazy yeah it sounds crazy that it could suck it up that much but i think it's entirely possible sure you just have a tiny body of water. And if something's utilizing something out of that tiny body of water, you're going to see it go quickly. The, the, the also, the, and it's not that quick. I think that's the other thing. Um, we see alk. I can see alk drop in a day in my system. Yeah. Uh, so. so six to seven days, you could easily be. Oh, easily. You, your corals could easily be using it. Um, it could be something else causing it too. What I would recommend uh, because the 6.5 is a little low, um, that would make me a little nervous. I would test more than once a week and see what's going on. Um, and you know, um, I would test once a day at the same time of day for several weeks and see what kind of trends you can come up with. And what was her first name? Denise. And Denise, let me also, this is not a sponsor, but let me just, cause this is a current thing I'm in love with. But, but let me say too, if you have a tiny system and it's simple and you don't have like crazy Neptune stuff and all that, and you got to test by hand, um, I'd like to recommend a Tropic Marin alkalinity test kit. It's a single liquid. Richard's going to say API, right? What did you just say? Uh, uh, you're going to say API. For so what? So the Tropic Marin is a single liquid. You take a five oh, mil sample. It's the same. Th it's, yeah. it's, it's probably the same fluid. So I would do whichever's cheaper for alcohol. It's just so fast and dirty. I believe Salifert, our friend Stacy said that Salifert has one too. Salifert, Tropic Marin, API. Yeah, you just yeah. want, you, just fast you, don't, you, don't, you don't give a shit if your alkalinity is 8.5. You give a shit if your alkalinity is between eight and nine. Yeah. That's what you give a shit about. Yeah. And, um, these titration tests, uh, which do it to the to the to the single digit pre decimal, um, is really all you really care about uh, because it's so volatile it's moving anyway. So who cares? Um, and there's several of them that have the single liquid titration, which is what I think you want to use because why are you complicating this to try? Every level of complication in testing means it's more likely that your test less is less fun. accurate. So less fun. Make it simple. Um, and I'll do two or three tests because it's like five mil. I have a five mil syringe. Zoop. Oh, 
Okay, try it again. Do I get it right? Um, it just takes, it literally takes 15 seconds for each test. Um, especially- and Are you getting consistent results? Cause then I would stop and like, yo, why did it just say yeah. six and then it said eight? Well, if it's, if it's, you know, cause the, tr the trident, the trident, the trident, the trident, um, I have an idea of what that says my ALK is. So if it, if the titration test that I run, the hand test comes about the same, I don't care. If it's off, I'll do it a couple times in case something's weird. When I test phosphate, if I don't rinse everything really well, the first phosphate test will come back like nine. I mean, like terrible. And then I just flush all that and do it again. It comes back at point two. So uh, anyway, um, it's so easy. Uh, you can corroborate very quickly and then do it over a week. Oh, last word about Me? this. Oh, no, I just said, I, I believe that I saw that she said that like, well, I'm not dosing either. So, I mean, yeah, if you're just relying on water changes and, and it's sucking it out, yeah. might be time to dose. And again, not sponsoring, but I'm saying, look at Tropic Marin's All for Reef. It has everything for your alkalinity, your calcium, magnesium, and trace elements all in one liquid. And so for a tiny little system, I kind of feel like that would be the easiest thing. Just keep track of the alkalinity and all the other components are usually utilized in line with the alkalinity. Yeah. So check it every day for a week and get back to us and let us know how it went. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because that's the interesting piece of the information. Denise is also keeping a tank journal uh, with the compilation of stuff she learns from various sources, which I think is fantastic. Oh, only um, And she's, uh, she's keeping a list of what we talk about in the Reef Beef um, episodes. Oui. Um, yeah. And I think that's freaking awesome. And um, I think Denise said that uh, um, oh, I, somehow I cut this, so I'm not seeing what I saw before. Um, we are totally interested in, 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 your, in your journal of reef beef stuff. Uh, and if you want to send it to us, we'd be likely to, we'd be happy to put it up somewhere on the reef beef site because that sounds like a cool thing. Yes. So, so there, we'll get you, um, you right in again. We'll get you in touch with Snowman and uh, we'll make that happen. Thank you for caring so much because the, 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 the write-ups of each show um, were, are pretty cool. I mean, she, you know, it's like, oh, that's what the show's actually about uh, instead of, you know, our catchy titles, which have nothing to do with anything because they're fun. <laughs>